Hi friends, this is Layla, and we have a beautiful Saturday afternoon, so I hope I can walk through this really quickly. But yesterday I made these really adorable little treat boxes that hold Uridelli chocolates for my customers who came to my workshop last night. And I used the buildable tags, which um, are a new product in our core catalog. And I just want to just step through and show you how easy these were made because I did them in bulk. So let's get started. I've already pre-cut some of this, but I want to give you a few of the cutting trips tips. This paper here that I used is the pumpkin spice paper. It is almost sold out. And these are the pumpkin spice wood shapes that aren't sold out. Um, I think Close to My Heart makes them. They are self-adhesive and they're ultra thin wood veneers. And they were delayed because we were out of raw material. But um, they are available on our website right now. So I know that they have some other leaves and pumpkin shapes and acorns. Also, these two leftover boxes happen to be um, just hearts. So let's get started. This is the Buildable Shapes bar part, and um, I'm missing, because I put it in a safe place to show you, um, one of the Buildable Shapes. But you get two tall dies, this one that has a circle at the top, and then you have one that's the same height that is the classic tag shape with the two sides cut down. And that either way you do it, what you're going to want to do when you do this, man, I am just a mess right now. Um, if you are making a whole bunch of these, I really recommend that you use both the classic tab top and the round because what you can do is you can cut them at the same time on uh, and that, and then um, you can cut twice as many boxes at the same time and that. So I just washi taped this together and ran it through yesterday. And that today I'm only making one box, and so I am just going to um, use this one. I have a magnetic platform here, so I don't need to washi tape it down. And I am using the nectarine cardstock. What I wanted to show you in this video is that when you run our tags through, you don't ever want to go through like this or straight through at the top. You want to put it at an angle offset. It's kind of like a low rider going over a speed bump. You have to go slow and kind of an, at an angle. It is much gentler to your machine. This being parallel with the pressure bar is fine, but um, just don't do it this way. You'll hear a loud crunch, kathunk, and um, that's your machine protesting. And that. So I'm just going to cut this real quick. And set this aside. And I'm going to put these back in here. So, oh, there's my other, other one. I have it washi taped together with the window frame. And that, that's why I wasn't seeing it. And it has the top here that is the flat... Um, oval sh thing. It's really great for putting a ribbon in. When I cut these, I also washi tape together these little eyelet pieces, and that way I can cut two at a time on one pass through. And you will see here that this is the one that matches up with this one. It's a little bit big because it's truly designed for this one, the larger tag, but it's super cute. And today I cut this out of the black ore paper. And so there is just a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to glue this down with our quickie glue pen. This is because um, this is such a small thing that I don't need a whole lot of glue. And it, I don't want it to bleed all over. And that. This is a two-way glue pen. If you don't put it down when it's blue or white, it will be removable kind of like a sticky note and that but um, if you put it down when it's wet it's permit adhesive and I love our newest type of tweezers for putting embellishments down because it just allows for perfect placement so there's our tag just like the one I had here this one I used the new copper 
or paper. So this or is kind of a theme. Okay, here is where the magic starts, is where we're going to have these two tags, and I'm going to have them folded at the bottom, and then I'm going to have them through here. Now, if they didn't have, weren't folded at the bottom, you would see that they're allowing candy to go straight through. So what we're going to do is we're going to score the bottom of the tag at three quarters of an inch. You could do a half inch or one inch, but then you would just need to adjust the sides and the thickness of this box and that. So what I did here is I just scored them and um, then I'm going to over glue them and overlap them like this. And then this box is going to go in like this. But first I'm going to show you how to um, make this box. So my next project will probably be the Deck the Palms Christmas um, workshop. And since I already have boxes for Halloween in the fall, I'm just going to use some of our clover paper. And, that. and I'm going to lay my guide up here. And um, I'm sorry, I goofed. These numbers are correct, but I actually meant to say 2.5, 3.25, and all that. But um, this lines up really nicely. So I'm going to score here at 2.5, and this is going to make um, three boxes. Because I'm going to do it an inch and a half, three inches, and four and a half inches, and I'll get three of these boxes. But what I really like to do, and the magic of making this quick and easy, is to go ahead and score the whole sheet of cardstock one time. And I'm going to trim it off here at least a half inch. Um, and I'm just going to put a little score line there. And then I'm going to bring it over to my paper trimmer. And if you had a whole sheet of cardstock, you could turn it and score again sideways after you've trimmed it off. And you can get some more of these boxes. So I go ahead and I trim the or fold the whole piece and then I lay it flat and I glue this down. This is going to be on the outside here so that when you put candy inside it's not going to catch on this. This is going to be covered up by your tag here so it doesn't matter. So at this point, you can just put some adhesive on this flap, and I you can use liquid adhesive. I just used my Tombow because it's handy. Um, last night I used my Scotch ATG gun and that, but um, whatever is your preference. And at this point, I'm doing approximately 1.5 inches, top to bottom. And so that's the one and a quarter, and this is 1.5. And it's not highly scientific at this point. So I'm just cutting it. And then you can cut a couple more. And you see that by scoring once, doing adhesive once, we already have three of these boxes. And that, I am just going to leave these flat folded and jump back over to my nectarine colored one. These I'm going to save for next week when my Deck the Halls, Deck the Palms um, supplies come in. And that. So let's move other things out of the way that we don't need. I'm going to leave this here for reference. Make sure you can all see it. And we'll keep moving along. This is the Boo Crew paper. It has um, been a special, and that special is wrapping up this weekend because um, Halloween is almost over. So putting this together, I am just letting them butt up against each other. And that I don't do it completely flat because I don't want to overlap the score line, otherwise they won't close nicely. And that so that's really simple and now I can just go from score line to score line so I'm doing a face of the box and 
I didn't get quite enough adhesive there. And I just did it up at the top. I didn't feel that it needed to do it at the bottom also. Now I'm going to open up the box again. And press it in. And repeat on the front side. You will need to open it back up because if you do it over here and close it, it's going to miss. But that's it for the um, base part of the treat holder. And now, even though the um, holes are different styles, it doesn't bother me. I can um, just line them up and um, add some string. And in my stash last night, I found this ancient hemp cord and that, which I thought was especially wonderful. This slot does fit our new um, ribbon for, that is the wild berry color, but not through there. And that, and when I do this, I do about 11 inches, and I have um, a tape measure that I attached to the front edge of my shelf that's right here, and so I can always just reach up and um, measure. I used to have it attached to the front edge of my desk, but then I was always um, rubbing it off. So I didn't care for that as much. I have made a lot of cards with this Boob Crew paper. I haven't done much embellishing with the stickers, so that's what I'm going to use next. And that, so. And for the Uridilly candies, they actually fit in here, even though I'm going to tie it shut which is really nifty because we were able to embellish these on and have that all prepped last night, but um, I ran out of candy because it was really good. I ate too many pieces and I actually needed like, I only ate three, two or three pieces, but um, I needed a dozen more candies to finish off the boxes. And so a friend brought them to me. This is, oh, I'm just getting a little bit fussy with this, being that it's a live video. Trim it on down. And um, let's grab some of the Brew Crew stickers. So I saw Eek earlier, and I thought that was perfect because of the fact that there's stickers on, or spiders on here. And maybe a bright colored bat. And I think I'm just going to let it stick to the basket as well. So this is how I made a whole bunch of those little treat holders yesterday. And aren't they adorable? So I hope this makes um, and simplifies your holiday um, gifting season and um, you're able to use the buildable tags. Thanks for watching and have a great day.